Hi, it's Kerry. Lots of amazing farm animals today. Subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like farm animals. The Indian peacock has some of the brightest feathers, but the peahen is a drab mottled brown colour. The male needs its bright feathers to attract a mate, and the female needs to be able to blend in with the undergrowth to protect herself and eggs from predators. 3D Puzzle Rooster. This is a really good one to make because of all the different colours. It makes it very easy to put together. Can you tell me how many red-eyed tree frogs I have in today's video? The red-eyed tree frog. Although frogs live on land, their habitat must be near swamps, ponds or in a damp place. Frogs can see forwards, sideways and upwards all at the same time. And here's a mother frog with her baby on her back. Frogs need to be in damp places because they will die if their skin dries out. Instead of drinking water, frogs soak it up into their body through their skin. They never close their eyes, even when they sleep. Pygmy goat. They are just the same as normal goats but have much shorter legs. This one has a small tassel under their chin and they have very sharp teeth and can demolish vegetation very quickly. The black sheep. In most sheep, the white fleece is a dominant gene. Sometimes the recessive gene manifests itself and we result in a black lamb being born. The Scottish black faced sheep. It's an attractive, hardy old breed, most likely from near the border of Scotland and England. They are used for wool production, and you can see they've got quite a heavy wool coat there. And here's the Scottish black faced lamb. So cute! These sheep have been exported to the United States, Italy, and Argentina. The Shropshire sheep. They have no horns. They originated from the hills of Shropshire in North Staffordshire, England during the 1840s. They are bred for their wool and for meat production as well. Their fleece is dense and elastic to the touch and very good quality. Mustang Stallion. Wild Mustangs live in large herds on the grasslands. The herd consists of one stallion, about eight females and their foals. The herd is led by a female horse or mare and a stallion that is over six years of age. The Mustang Mare. In dangerous situations, the head mare will lead her herd to safety and the stallion will stay and fight. Herds spend most of their time grazing on grasses and brush. The Mustang Foal. Foals are born well before winter, so they have time to grow before the cold months of the year. Mustangs are a medium sized breed of horse. Vietnamese pot belly pig. It definitely has a pot belly and this one is a female, a sow. Pigs use their snout to find food and dig in the dirt with it sometimes. They love to wallow because it keeps their skin cool. The Hampshire pig. You can always tell this breed by the light colour across the shoulders and down the front legs and this is a female sow as well.
my 3D puzzle pig. Now this is a tricky one to make because it's the same colour all over. I still do it sometimes though. This is a female duck. She's a brown mottled colour to blend in with the undergrowth when she's got babies. Old ducks have highly waterproof feathers due to the feathers interlocking and their waxy coating. The mallard duck. The males have a glossy green head. A male duck is called a drake, a female duck a hen and a baby duck a duckling. This is a goose. Male geese are called ganders. They protect the nest while the female geese sit on the eggs. Geese can live almost anywhere. They like fields, parks and grassy areas near ponds. The Barbary sheep. They're naturally found in Northern Africa. They are found in dry rocky mountainous areas and are very agile at jumping from stone to stone and climbing up steep inclines. The males have longer horns than the females. Jacob's sheep is a rare breed. They most commonly have four horns, but some have two and others can have six horns. The most common colour is black and white like this one. Jacobs are usually raised for their wool, meat and hides. This breed originated in the Alp Mountains. They can be various colours of white, brown or black, speckled or plain. They often have a bell around their neck so they can be found if they get stuck somewhere. The Alpine Bull. In the Alps, the farmers drive the cows onto the Alpine meadows in the summer because that's where the lush grass grows. In late summer, the cows will return to the valley. Cows are herd animals. The female Alp cow, and she has a bell around her neck. The large bells can be heard from a long distance away. Cows can eat more than 50 kilograms of grass and can drink up to 180 litres of water per day. These cows are milked twice every day and can provide up to 30 litres of milk a day. The cow also has milk for her calf to suckle. The llama. They are herbivorous mammals. They eat grass, ferns and hay. They only need a small amount of water. Llamas live in South America, in the countries of Peru, Argentina, Bolivia and Chile. They've also been exported to other countries as well. The alpaca. Alpacas are considerably smaller than llamas and have been bred specifically for their wool. Some have a fleece-like coat and others more like dreadlocks. Alpacas chew cut like a cow, eat hay or grass and eat fresh drinking water. And here's another one. Alpacas are shorn once a year, usually in spring. Alpaca wool is very soft, strong, warm and light and comes in colours like grey or fawn or chocolate brown and black. The wool is mainly used in jumpers and dunas. Alpacas use a communal dung pile where they do not graze. Well that was fun looking at all the different farm animals. Today when I was videoing I had quite a few problems. I think I had slippery fingers. I'm going to share with you some of my bloopers next. Thank you for watching my video and it really helps if you're able to share my videos on any of the social media sites that you like to visit. See you again soon.
thanks for my bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>